Next question is from Rebecca Munchrath. With my schedule, the only time I have available to go to the gym is either early mornings or really late evenings. I've always had my best feeling and progress in the gym during midday. Do you have any tips for success at these new time of day workouts? So number one, uh, accept it. So just accept the fact that you're you're going to be working out at a new time and it's not going to feel ideal. It makes it a lot easier. I work out uh, oftentimes at 6 a.m. in the morning and by no means am I feeling as strong or as driven or aggressive at 6 a.m. as I would be at noon, you know, noon or one o'clock, which is uh, ideal for, for me and for a lot of people. So I just accept it. It's a morning workout, whatever. The other thing is this. Over time, you start to get used to it and you actually get better. Yeah, you'll acclimate to Yeah, it. you actually get better at those those types of workouts. Um, your body starts to perform better. In fact, um, coaches for high level, super high level athletes start to time heavy, hard training practices right around Game when time when they league. compete. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. your body actually starts to get good at adapting and saying, okay, we're going to perform uh, at a high level at this time. And so then, you know, your, your game is at seven, so you train at seven, you practice at seven. And the, yeah. and the truth is, it's uh, whichever one of these two you're going to be the most consistent at is what all studies show are the, is the best. Uh, the different, I mean, th <laughs> yeah, this is a, a long, long question, or we get asked this question all the time for a very long time I've been asked this. Is it better? And there's lots of studies that have came out to try and show, oh, this happens in the morning mm. if you do this. And at the end of the day, none of it matters. What matters is what would you be the most consistent with? Now, personally for myself, if I had to choose one or the other, because I'm the same way too as Sal, I mm. would way rather be noon or one. If I had to choose morning or evening, I have to choose morning because mm -hmm. late evening workouts fuck my sleep up. Yeah. Mm. I get, it gets my adrenaline going and night times are already hard enough for me to come uh, come down at. And so maybe once or twice I could get away with an evening workout. But if I'm consistently doing that, it, it makes it really tough for me to fall asleep. Now, if you don't have that problem and you sleep harder because you work out at nighttime, you could be someone who's like that, then that might be a great strategy for you. But if it's like me where it fucks your sleep up, then as much as I hate to get up extra early in the morning, I would have to make that 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 sacrifice, get up extra early to do my morning workouts. Yeah, I wonder about that. I wonder if, because I've heard of people that work out all the time, like late at night, and then they can go right to sleep after that. I wonder about the quality of their sleep, though. Uh, for me, I would definitely have to choose uh, the morning uh, because, you know, for, for me to expend that kind of energy and get myself, like, amped up uh, like that, because inevitably, whatever you're doing, like, after that, I have this, like, charge of energy that, uh, you know, like it promotes and propels me the rest of the day. So, uh, for to, to expand it all at the end of the day, the one benefit to that is like, you're already alert, you're awake. You, you feel like I feel stronger towards, you know, the, the end of my day or sometimes right in the middle of the day specifically. Uh, so that's the benefit for me is like feeling that I am strong in those movements, but, uh, to then interrupt the sleep thing, knowing how valuable sleep is in the whole, uh, building muscle process. I, I don't know. No. Plus, the, in at night, there's just way more excuses. I, I just find that my day That's good point. takes over. If I wake up before the day starts and start my workout, it's the first thing I do. I'm far less likely uh, yeah. to miss my workout. Oh, yeah, if course. I leave it at the end of the day, like everything's exhausted. Yeah, someplace. stuff starts to get in the way, and I just ate dinner, and I, I'm full, or you know, I'm tired, or the kids need this, and then before I know it, workout's not going to happen, or I got to leave everybody to go work out um, and you know, then they're complaining or whatever. Whereas if I wake up before everybody can't say anything, I'm going to do my workout, but whatever it doesn't really, here's the bottom line. The workout that is the most effective for you is the one you're going to do. Yeah. Okay. That's the bottom line. So working out in the morning uh, might not be ideal for you, but if, or at night might not be ideal for you, but if you're going to do it, if that's going to make you consistent, then that's the day. That's the time. Then that's the time that you pick. You don't you don't wait for those you know unicorn times to work out when you feel your strongest and best. If those happen almost never, you're going to get terrible progress. Your body's not going to respond very well because of the inconsistency.